Okay, today I'm uh, gonna build a Node.js application um, to demonstrate how uh, Node.js could uh, interact with front end. Uh, because we have know how to create a basic server, uh, we have created a full, fully functional server, uh, but we haven't added uh, front end on top of it. So this Node.js app is just uh, you know a full stack application, <clears throat> right? So um, to save some time, I have already uh, get the UI part uh, finished, and uh, as you can see here, it's very simple, and uh, there is a user list, right? So the user list should be print uh, down below, uh, the below the button. And when you add a user, uh, it would just uh, redirect to another component called uh, add user, right? We can enter something here, right? and uh, user detail and submit that. After that, uh, it would just redirect to the user component and a new user will be displayed in the list again. So <coughs> this front end app is, as you can see it here, so it is based, based on the React. So I have a React tutorial. So if you don't know how to do that, um, you can just watch another tutorial uh, video list. So user user's component is the default one, right? So if there is any um, uh, URL that um, the application does not recognize, it will just redirect to the default one. And so in this case, we, we don't have to um, print um, 404 error message, right? Because uh, whatever anything happened, we, uh, I mean, if we just redirect to the user page, right? So <clears throat> yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's just do it. Come to uh, the source code folder as you can see here so now we have a node app right here right so how 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 did i initialize that so you can just use uh, it's fairly simple so uh npm and uh you can search mer i just use this one to initialize um empathy mer uh which which means MongoDB Express React Node.js project. Right, so it, this one is pretty forward. It, when you um, install this, and after installing this, you can just uh, you know create a new app and app name. There are several options, including what I use. I use this one. Decided you want to you want a new API Express is set up for you. So if you just uh, you know initialize uh, awesome nice app uh, with uh, dash e, it means that uh, this application has a backend. If you just uh, create a new app uh, with uh, application name, it will just give you an empty React project, right? So. Uh, basically, what I had to do I just create a new app and call it um, node.js.app, right? Stuff like that with E so that you can create your own backend. So the file structure is pretty much like this, right? So uh, what I did, I just, uh, you know, uh, add some components in this components folder, and uh, the server right here is still empty. Now we want to create a backend server dot JS. Okay. So we open this server again. We we use HTTP. So actually, uh, in this in this. Uh, actually, uh, this project uh, has already, uh, well, it has not installed Express yet. Okay, we just uh, you know create our create our own server. 
Yeah, uh, next class, next class, we're gonna step into uh, Express, which give you a better API to create a server. Uh, okay, so it is V to create a server and a function error. Oh, no, no, Re request response. And if you want to do something here, uh, listen port 3000. Okay, um, give it a hey server is running on the port right so again uh, let me open this so I have a user component right so right here I want to display the user as you can see here so the list has been finished but this function ha has not so uh, how could we do that we want to um, when the component initially uh, loaded, we want to send a request to the server so that the server will give us response. So how do we send a request? It's fairly simple. Get HTTP localhost. Um, the server is three sold in eight API users right? so the api we name it as users so this one gonna return something right? so res dot data okay but as you can see here uh oh we have already talked about this before we when we send a request to the server it will have it would have a course error right cross origin resource sharing problem so right here we uh, we just have already set up the proxy. Um, proxy is set here. Um, proxy, right, as you can see here. So we have already talked about this before uh, from the React tutorial videos. So now the target is localhost three thousand. So when we send request, we can send from our own port. So yeah, and uh, escaped API, right? So change origin secure false. Then in this way we can get the uh, data. So uh, now we want to initialize some data called users. Uh, we can also uh, use a how to see put put this data into a database .json file or using mongodb but in this case uh, to demonstrate how, how to how the node.js backend interact with uh, the front end right so we don't need um database for the moment so uh, let's just add some new data here uh, user id one username vehicle user detail blah 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 I give it us three users vehicle and a jack Tom right okay now we have three users in this list so when the front end send request to the server uh, we can return so from the last previous last two class uh, we uh, we 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 return um, either a string or um, template HTML right HTML file right so in this case we're gonna just return some JSON data which is commonly used in the modern um, frameworks so uh, but it is it is actually same thing so if you want to read uh, uh, if you want to return a JSON data actually is not allowed um, because what well, either string or buffer could be returned so um, 
means that we need to convert this to a string first. Okay. So Uh, so we need to uh, determine which which URL it is, right? So if the URL is equal to um, users then we just return Jason dot string five users. Yeah. Okay. Just like simple like that. Um, okay. So now let's run this file. It's running, and as you can see, uh, see it here. So the front end has already been running, right? So print users. Um, seems like there's some error here. So. Okay, so um, now it have the, the value has already been returned, right? So as you can see here, and after then we can just uh, right pass the returned um, data into users list, right? So it could be displayed here. So this is. Uh, um, a, a pretty simple uh, list so users dot map right so we have already talked about this um, from the direct tutorial yeah as you can see here so everything has been displayed here and it just works fine and uh, when we go back to our code and as you can see here so actually we are using a get request right so this is the target URL and when we get the data so it would just um, what what would what we do we just uh, add the return the data into the list right so it is pretty straight uh, forward uh, this is the first part we render the users list and also when we open this uh, add user component if we input something we want to add a new user on top in the list right so as you can see here so uh, in this case we need to send some data back to server send some data back to server and uh, you know get the new users list right so it looks like this is a post um, request right so the difference between get and a post it, it is pretty straightforward if you don't know it means that um, actually you need to learn about more um, HTTP fundamental so basically um, get we, we, we when we said get a request we don't uh, add any parameters here and we want to search something based on our own parameter it means that we send a request with some um, you know initial if um, parameter we need to send it as a, a as a post normally we just do it that way right but in this case let me open this so add a user to user list right so okay as you can see here so we get the value from the ref container right so it is pretty straightforward but in this case, we don't want to do it. We don't want to do what? We don't want to use post um, right here. Because what? Because um, if we are just simply using uh, Node.js to create a server without any framework, or Koa, Express, Act.js, so if we just use the uh, 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 
plan Node.js to create a server to parse the post body is pretty complex and uh, nobody ever used that never right so as long as we uh, get a post request we we need we 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 basically just use a framework either express or koa to parse it to you know to uh to, to get the post body so we just don't don't create so uh, in this case basically i just want to use another react uh, i mean use another get po uh, get request to handle this yeah uh, you you didn't hear me wrong so actually we can also set get request with some data right so i think uh, it is also pretty forward yeah straightforward you can use get again right so uh, right here we can just uh, give it a config what is this config this is the parameters that we need to pass um, from here so actually because this is um how to see this is um a react component so but normally if we send a get request it could be something like a name fickle and detail blah 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 some something like this right yeah as you can see here right so but uh but this is uh a react react uh um react uh, application so when we send requests that uh, we we don't use this one um in this way this is actually be used in react router right to um redirect to another component and uh, set parameters to another components so how do we do here we can just uh you know We can have a get a value, so that is called paramus. So it we have a user name. Uh, so user name is name ref dot current dot value user detail detail ref current value. And now we have parameters, and uh, we want to pass this. So let config. So this in this par uh, in this config object we can pass parameters, and this this object has a um, property also called param, and when you have it, you can just pass it to conf pass it as config. So. Actually, we don't. We just want to use a shorthand right, way to pass it. So we just simply use parameters. Um, and in this way, we just refresh this project. Yeah, users. And we open this. If I click add. We come to this add user component, right? So I open this network. I click submit. As you can see here, right? So an uh, Axios re uh, request has been sent it, um, how to say, successfully, just in this way. Okay. Just because we, uh, we sent a request, uh, or a get request request so where is the tap preview response header um what i so if you see this link actually this is just a get request right so it should be a master displayed somewhere but um yeah anyway this is a get request so we have already sent this uh, successfully 
So now we we need to how to say parse it. We we need to get this.、Um, as you can see here, so there there is a query string parameters, the username and the user details right, right here. We need to get these two values, so that we can create a new object and、uh, add the new object into the user's list, right? So, how do we get this username and user details? So we have our send request. Do we just else if URL? No, be why? Because as you can see, so URL is pretty is something like this. So when you get the URL, URL should be something、um, right here, right? So users question mark stuff like that. So we we cannot just get URL anymore.、Uh, so in this in this case, we need to use another library,、um, core library, to. Manipulate to get the data first. So,、um, why I use the all uppercase? Because in this case, the URL has been on it already、um, initialized. We we don't we want to separate the, this variable name with this library, right? So, in this case, we can do.、Uh, let me just. Delete this for for the moment. So、uh, it's called、uh, URL object, right? So we have URL dot parse and dot request dot URL. Right. Now we want to display it. URL obj. Stop the server. Open the server again. Users. Add user. Submit. As you can see here, so、uh, the request has been sent direct、uh, successfully. Yeah, as you can see here, so. This URL has been URL object has been print right. So, what did I print here? This is the search property query property and path name. As you can see here, so we can just use this one. The as the pass, as as the as this condition, right? The if else condition parameter, and again, this is not users. This is add user, right? So now, as you can see here, so we need to get this pass name first. So else if. So URL obj dot path name equal to、um, add user. Then we wanna create a new user and add that into the list, right? So、uh, the the rest of the the and username and、uh, the、uh, user name and user detail is stored in the query. Parameter, right? So, how do we get this? We can simply get this by parsing a true here. At user, blah 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 blah, submit. Pass name, add user, a、right? username, and user detail. As you can see it here, so by passing true boolean value,、um, this option、uh, we can get a query object right here. 
right? So actually, you can just use it directly. It means that in this URL object, we can get const. username and user detail from URL obg dot query right so let's um, let's display it first right so user name and a user detail right we just create a step by step so node server submit as you can see here right so the username and user detail has been printed here. So it means that we successfully found this path at a user because you send a request right here, right? So add a user. And uh, we successfully get username and the detail, right? So what do we do? We can do const object so user id is users dot length plus one user name and user detail right because username is just username user details the user detail so we don't have to write it twice now we have this new object. We can just simply dot user push or obj. Right? In this way, the users will be updated. Right. So open this server again. Now, okay, you, you need to focus. Now we have three users right here. Right. So we add a new user. It's called um, Tom. Tommy, um, playing guitar. As you can see here, so right. So Tommy Avenue, um, playing guitar. Right? So it makes sense, <laughs> totally, perfectly. Right? So now we have four, and uh, as you can see here, so the 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 uh, the new user has been pushing and. Uh, at the bottom of the list. So if you want to do, if you want to display a new user on top of it, you can just simply use uh, let users dot, uh, equal to object dot dot users. Right? So So John five play guitar submit. Hmm. What happened? Users, users before cannot access users before initialization. Okay, so okay, we don't <laughs> we don't need this let right. So okay, I believe John five play guitar. Works right, so it works right, makes sense. So now John Five is on the top of the list. So, yeah, the in this way we can just uh, we have already make this application 
uh, works you know, back in the front end by using uh, by uh, set requests to the server uh, using Axios uh, even though the, these are to uh, get we still can get value from get the value we want to pass to the server using Paramus right and uh, in the back end we can just uh, you know great grab the information uh, from the user input and uh, then do something as set back back to the front end so this is the basic uh, process and yes and next next demo we're gonna talk about express and in express we don't have to um, you know use this way you know uh, send get the parameters first and then um, you know um, to to determine which path name which path this is and then determine what we're gonna do eventually uh, so if we use a, a framework it will it will be much easier but still it is good to know that how the plan or the raw um, or a native Node.js work trace so in this way we we have make this full stack application works you know based on the node.js and react you know whatever the, any front end frameworks you are using react view angular or template engine uh xds uh pub um stuff like that still the the back end you just work in this way right so you you get the path and you you respond to them or you do something on the existing data and in this in this demo uh, in this example I, I haven't used um, MongoDB either because we just uh, we don't have to we, we just want to keep it in more um, keep it simpler right more straightforward so yeah anyway this is pretty much about uh, the node.js application how it works today all right